Hello everyone. How are you today? Are you ready for another English lesson? Why don't you make yourself comfortable? In today's lesson, we will learn about countable and uncountable nouns. Have you ever been to the supermarket before? There are many things that you can see here. Can you name some of the things that you saw just now? Okay, let's name them together. Orange, butter, sugar, pencil, book, flour. There are things that can be counted and cannot be counted. We call them countable and uncountable nouns. Orange, book and pencil are countable nouns. We use a and several or numbers with countable nouns. For example, an orange, a book, three carrots. We can also use a few, a lot of, many and some with countable nouns. For example, a few oranges, many books, some carrots. Butter, sugar and flour are uncountable nouns. We use a little, much, a lot of, and some with uncountable nouns. For example, a little butter, some flour, much sugar. Mother, Father's Day is just around the corner. Let's bake a cake to celebrate. Yes! That's a good idea. Let's make a list of the things we need. Now let's see. We need some flour, three eggs, some sugar, a little butter, and um, some chocolate chips. Wow! It will be a great cake. What about decorations? For the decorations, I think we will need some chocolate chips and a candle. Now children, can you name the things that you heard in the dialogue just now? Very good! Flour, eggs, sugar, butter, chocolate chips, candle. Now that we have the list, can you separate the countable and uncountable nouns? That's right! Flour, sugar and butter are uncountable nouns. Chocolate chips, eggs and candle are countable nouns. Now, let's do the exercise below. Circle the correct word in the bracket. Mother uses three much eggs to make a cake. Good! Mother uses three eggs to make a cake. 
there is a little an orange on the table. Right again. There is an orange on the table. Now let's try the other one. The cook puts a little many salt into the soup. Well done. The cook puts a little salt into the soup. There isn't many much rice in the pot. Correct. There isn't much rice in the pot. Well done. You have answered all correctly. Well, children, that's all for today's lesson. I hope you have enjoyed today's program. Until we meet again, goodbye.